what's going on guys good morning it's been a couple weeks since i've came out and did a video so i decided to come out on this morning on this weekday to do some sturgeon fishing on a sacramento river so get my stuff and let's go down there and see if there's any fish. My setup is, uh, I got two 12 footers. I got a Shimano. A Shimano Tyra Lijo, Tyra Lijo. Something, something like that. 12 foot rod, heavy action. With my Shimano Thunnis 1600F, that's a bait runner. I've had this rod for 15 years, man, and I love this rod. I still love it till this day. I've caught plenty of, of sturgeon off this rod, and uh, man, this rod and reel has been great to me and I hope it lasts me you know a few more years <laughs> and then my other rod is a 12 foot Preville pin Preville with the Daiwa Solstice. Yeah, 80 pound, uh, 80 pound braid with 80 pound mono as my leader. Using a seven knot, seven knot gum got to, uh, I think it's Big River or something like that. Hook um, with the sl sliding weight, sliding pyramid, uh, which connects to a swivel and then to my leader. And it's gonna be like. 25 to 30 inches long. I'm using um, I'm using eel, lamprey eel, and uh, and night crawler as bait. I got some some ghost shrimp from my cousin it's already pre pre-rigged like someone like this someone like that Using 10 ounce weights. <clears throat> 10 ounce weights. <clears throat> so, in my years of st sturgeon fishing, from February to the middle of March, March seems to be the best time to come out here 
and catch yourself a sturgeon. Um, they do travel in groups, so, you know, when you hit the school, you know, you'll get, might catch a couple, two, three, sometimes even, even six, depending how many people you're actually fishing with, you know, if you're with your buddies and you're, he's got like six, seven rods out, you might get a chance of catching, you know, like I said, five, six sturgeon in one day. I mean, nothing beats being on a boat, but uh, when you're a bank, bank angler, you know, this is what you got to do. You got to come on and put in your time. And get lucky. Got some some ghosts right here. Got a little bit of power worm left. This is what my cousin gave me. Bitty worms, power worm. Yes, you know what power worms are. They're it's parasites from the ocean, <laughs> and and striper and sturgeon. Love them. Same with the. Same with the ghost shrimp it's from the ocean. So, throw that, throw some some night crawlers on there. Get your magic thread. Try and get this in the camera. Combination, this is what we call a combination. Night crawlers. Add that to the hook. Should be one good tasting piece of bait right here. Got your um, lamprey, <clears throat> your lamprey eel. You got your night crawler, and you got your power worm. You can't resist this piece of juicy, juicy, juicy piece of steak right here. So 
And that's how it looks like right there. Damn, looks good. If I was a, if I was a fish, I would eat it. Oh man, I got none. Something to wipe my hands. Get this other one rigged up. I just want to get you know night crawler. I want to add some ghost shrimp to it. Just tie it on there. Never had much luck with ghost shrimp on the Sacramento River. I always seem to have better luck with the Aeon Nightcrawler, but seems like everybody. I spoke to has said they've caught it off ghost shrimp so I can't help it but put some eel night crawler and ghost shrimp together I mean who would not want to eat that piece right there look at that this Pretty much um, sturgeon candy right there. The water seems a little, a little low. It seems a lot low for this time of year. And I'm gonna turn off the camera, and hopefully, when I, when it's back on, it'll be me with the white sturgeon at the end of my line. So guys, stay tuned.
people don't want to pick up this shit. Burn that trash away. Got something nibbling, nibbling on my worm. That's that's a good sign when you got something nibbling on your on your bait. At least you know you know there wherever your bait's at, there's some fish right there. Now all you need is for it to bounce. I've never had sturgeon, you know, some people say, you know, they're barely just nibbling, but I've never had sturgeon, but I that it's usually a, you know, a, a dip. It'll dip and then it'll slack up, dip and then slack up. You know, we all say it's, it's bouncing, you know. I don't know how it is on the boat. I've never fished for sturgeon on the boat, so. I've always fished for sturgeon on the bank, and when they hit, they hit. I mean, they hit pretty decent. You know, your line just slacks. Chill here for a little bit. Look at all them birds. I don't know if they're lost or they're, where they're going, but they're going somewhere. Whoa, damn. It's a lot of geese. Or cranes. Migration, migration at its best. That's a lot and a lot of birds. Oh, that's crazy. Look at that. What's up guys? Today's a, today's a different day. Um, at a different spot on the Sacramento River. It's my bait right now. Looks freaking tasty. So we're gonna cast out. <sighs> Three hours to fish in the morning. Blue. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
place is so trashed out. Let's see, we'll see what happens. All right, what's up guys? Today is the third morning that I'm putting in my time two, three hours in the morning before work, you know, hoping it, to get a sturgeon. So today's the third morning and so far I have not gotten a bite. I think it's because you know this year it didn't rain and the water did not rise the water is pretty low for this time of the year and I think that's the reason why um, there's probably not much sturgeon coming through uh, but that's just my thought so hopefully you know, in the next hour or so, hopefully I'll hook up or get a bite. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so my time is up. Time for me to wrap it up for today. It's slow. Uh, like I said, three mornings and not a bite. So it's slow and sturgeon, or they're tough to catch in the they take a lot of time you know um, there are days when you know if it's your day you're gonna come out here you're gonna cast in five ten minutes you're gonna get you're gonna get a bite you're gonna hook up and you're gonna catch sturgeon but there are days where it's days weeks months and you don't catch anything but that's how fishing goes and I hope to see you guys next time